Holmes law. Children, today we are going to discuss about Holmes law. In the last classes, what we discussed, we discussed about the charge, we discussed about the current, we discussed about the potential. Okay, do you remember children charge? I told you we have presented Q, I, V. Please mute your audience. The units are coulombs, amperes, and volts. Formula is Q is equal to N V I told, and here I told I is equal to Q by P I told, and here V is equal to W by Q I told, and here uh, it is measured by ammeter I told, it is measured by old meter I told. And it is measured coming in series, this is in parallel because it has low resistance, because it has high resistance. One ampere definition is one coulomb flows in one second I told, and one volt definition is one joule per one. Uh, Coulomb I told and source of potential I told cell or battery I told potential difference I told EMF so many things I told here I told about circuit electric current uh, Convectional current uh, open circuit closed circuit all those things I discussed in the last classes previous classes today We are going to discuss about Holmes law Holmes law states that very very important definition I never tell this in this question in more exam Holmes law states that potential applied is directly proportional to current flowing in a conductor. How much potential you apply, that much current will flow. If you put a big battery, more current will flow. If I keep a small battery, less current will flow. That is only Ohm's law. Okay, then what he said, potential applied. How much potential you apply? Potential applied is directly proportional to Potential applied is directly proportional to current flowing in a conductor. Current flowing in a conductor. Potential applied is directly proportional to current flowing in a conductor. Please remember, very important. Potential applied is directly proportional to current flowing in a conductor. Potential applied is directly proportional to current flowing in a conductor. Remain proportional to keep a constant R. <coughs> I'm sorry. Remain proportional to keep a constant R. Where R is called resistance. What is resistance? We'll study next video and next class. Children. Resistance. Okay. Okay. On plotting a graph between V and I, on plotting a graph between V and I, we will get a straight line passing through origin. This is called slope. What is slope of VA graph gives? Slope of VA graph gives what? Slope of VA graph gives what? Resistance. Slope of V A graph gives resistance. Slope of V A graph gives resistance. R is equal to V by N. Children, what is slope of V A graph gives resistance? Why? Because both are directly proportional. If potential increasing, current is increasing. Potential increasing, current is increasing. Potential is increasing, current is increasing. That's why when you draw a graph, you get a straight line passing through origin. Okay. Famous question on the Ohm's law is for. They are asking different Holmes law. Potential applied is directly proportional to current flowing in a conductor. You write down and please mention the formula also whether they ask or not. And in this uh, most famous question which they are asking is they are giving a graph like this and they are giving like this and like this and asking which is having more resistance A na B A. This is the question. They are asking repeatedly again and again. Which is having more resistance? Remember always easy method I will say whichever is near to B that will have more resistance. Okay. Why sir? What is there? Easy. Okay. I mean, sir. Sometimes they will give I here, V here, children. Same graph they will give A and B. Which is having more resistance? B. B. Because whichever is near to B, that will have more resistance. How easy no sir you say, children? I as classes go on, going on, I will discuss this question again and again. Children, more resistance, what I am saying is very easy to understand. More resistance means sometimes they will ask more length also. More resistance, they say, they may say more length because whichever is having more length, that will have only more resistance. Or they may say which is in series, whichever is in series only will have more resistance. Which is in series means A children because it has more resistance. Or sometimes they will say children which has uh, less cross sectional area, less cross sectional area only more resistance children. Which is having more temperature, more temperature only more resistance. Like this. So, all many questions will come on this only children. So, more resistance means more length, more length means less area and more temperature and more resistance means series connection. All this means same thing. Opposites are different. What is opposite children? What is opposite? Less resistance. Less length. Less length. Parallel. Wow, parallel. 
More area. More area. More. Less temperature. Less temperature. Like this also they can ask. Okay, na children. So don't think that they'll ask more resistance only. Anything they can ask, but it means more resistance only. You should have that understanding. This is all things you will understand as I keep on saying next classes. This I will discuss in resistance. This I will discuss in resistance. This I will discuss in this I will discuss in series connection. I will discuss it, and then you will understand. So. They will give a graph like this, V I, and they will give two graphs A and B. They will say which is in parallel. Who is in parallel? B. B. Because it has less resistance. Okay. Less and resistance. this is in series. This is having more, more resistance. resistance. This is having less resistance. This is having more length. This is having less length. Like that, children. Like that. Or sometimes they will put I here, sometimes B here. Then all answers will change. This is in series. This B is in parallel. series and A, A is in parallel. So children, this is Holmes law. Holmes law states that more potential you apply, more current will flow. Less potential you apply, less current will flow. How much potential you give, that much current will flow. This is Holmes law. And substances which behave Holmes law, which uh, uh, obey Holmes law, are called ohmic conductors, like all metals. Okay, which conduct. And substances which do not obey Ohm's law no, are no, non-ohmic no. conductors. Okay, children, this is about Ohm's law. Okay, mainly graphs are very important. Famous questions still are there. So we have added our, our, our journey even Ohm's law now. Ohm's law. Okay, Ohm's law. PV is directly proportional. I remain proportional to the constant R. Where R is called resistance. Okay, children, three four numericals we will do on this also, and we will stop the class. Children. Three four numericals. Easy, easy numerical side of children. Try to uh, see children here all of you. Very, very easy numerical. First question. Find potential when 3 milliamperes flows across a resistance of 1000 ohms. Ohms is denoted by omega, speed breaker. Yeah, anyone formula? V is equal to? I am. 3000. No, three by thousand. Three by thousand into thousand. Thousand. Three holes. Mute your audio, sir. Millions by thousand. Millions by thousand. Children, please don't forget. Please remember that. Millions by thousand. Next question. Find potential when five coulombs of charge flows for two seconds across a resistance of four ohms. Fantastic question, children. Fantastic question. Q by T into V is equal to I R. I R. But I we know as? I is equal to Q by T. Q by T. Q by T. Q by T into R. What is Q? 5. 5. 5 by 2 into 4. 2 into 4. 10. 10. 10. Mute your audio, children. So you should understand, children. I is equal to Q by T. You should not forget all these things. Huh? I start on new topic. I'll forget old topic. Like that, nothing is there. Evolution won't occur. Evolution won't occur, children. I told you, no. Old species also important. Okay. This is what happens if same thing teaches teaches all these things. Okay. Next question, children. Third question. Find resistance when a current of 5 amperes flows across a potential difference of 110 volts. Basic level sum. V by I is equal to 22 is the IR. I is equal to V by R. No, no, no. R is equal to V by I. V by I. 22. 22. So 22 ohms. 22 ohms. One more sum for your understanding, children. One more sum like this. So many sums are there in this picture, children. And I'll keep on upgrading them from time to time. Fourth sum, last sum for today, children. Find potential when 10 to the power of 19 electrons are flowing per 10 seconds across a resistance of 12 ohms. Sir, V is equal to T by T into R into the power 19 into 1.6 to the power 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by 10 into 12. One second, Anna. Okay, see here, children. I'm showing. Please see here, children. We know V is equal to W by Q. Oh, sorry, sir. V is equal to I R. Please see here, children, of you. So V is equal to Q means a children. I means Q by T. Q by T. Q by T volts. Q by T into R channel. Okay. Please mute your audio. So I said Q means mute your audio. 
and you will send it to you. Now, you will send it to you. Now, you will send it to you. Now, 10 to the power of 19. E I gave as 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. R I gave as 12 by 10. This gone, this gone. And 12 6 is 7 to 2. 19.2 by 10. This 10 goes here. So answer is 1.92 volt. Like this, you have to apply children. Q is equal to any, any way, they like that. One formula came, one formula came. Like that, all are interrelated children. All are interrelated, each one. You can't neglect any of children. All are interrelated. So like that, they have completed homes to all such children. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me children. Anyone have any doubts?